well, Snapchat world, it's that time of the year again for me. Missed last year because I was in Spain. <laughs> but it is Custer State Park's Trail Challenge 2020. First trail for me is the Lost Trails. See you out there. So this trail um, is, I'm walking I don't know, a couple hundred yards above a campground on a ridge-ish, kind of. Like, it's down there below those trees. And the campfire smell, and it's early in the morning, so the campfire smell and the smell of bacon. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> it smells so damn good. Like, all I want right now is bacon. <laughs> I'm honestly about to go find whoever's cooking it in whatever tent or camper and be like, I'll give me 20 bucks for some bacon. <laughs> oh, it smells good. Okay, I just had to throw that one in there. <laughs> the joys and the pains of hiking around people. Really good smells, but now I want bacon. <laughs> I was afraid of this. So I'm at the Badger Clark Trail. Back to the beginning. Walked the entire thing. It's 0.6 miles. It's not like it's that big of a deal. But there's no medallion. Like, it's not obvious. And it's kind of frustrating because I'm not enjoying my hikes. I'm too busy looking at every freaking rock that I pass. So I'm about to hike it a second time and look at every rock I pass 10 times closer. Um, yeah, that's ridiculous. I even looked up online to make sure that this is the correct trail, and this is the correct trail. Even though it's not labeled. And the visitor center that's here is closed. Um, it opens Memorial Day, <laughs> so it opens in three days. <laughs> but, yeah, this is frustrating. Like, you know, don't hide them. Actually, I do know that they, they there's another one that's, she's like, it's pretty... Okay, so they kind of have it hiding behind a little table. It's like right there. So I found it. I, all I could find was a pen. Doesn't work that great. So I want video proof. Who's video proof? <laughs> but it's got the general idea. Hopefully they can tell by the pictures because none of the actual trail words are coming up. But and there's no burnt wood, so I couldn't really etch it that way. Darn, I'll have to come back with a pencil. Ugh. Oh well. Okay. On to trail number three. See ya. Okay. Parked at the Norbeck, Peter Norbeck Visitor or, uh, Education Center, which is where the Cairn Trail is. They actually have a sign up. That's how I was here. There was no sign up. It was just a little marker. But trail number three. See you out there. Okay, so, oh, my phone's weird. Finally found it. I think I probably need to start looking up at the trees for that sign as opposed to down at every rock because I'm fucking walking right by them all. <laughs> and these are the three short trails. The trails get longer from here on out, so I don't have time to walk them forwards and backwards and still make all trails, all eight trails. Um, so, good luck to me. But three trails done, five to go. So, trail number six, the prairie trail. Starting to feel it. It's about 3.40 in the afternoon. Sun's out. Fantastic day, but the sun is wearing on me. Miles are wearing on me. So, we'll see how the rest of the day goes. So, 
so the gal who gave me my um, official form kind of clued me into where this one was. She really didn't give me too much detail, but because I've done this trail before, I knew basically where it was. Um, and I'm getting a little bit of pain in my knee um, going uphill, so I'm actually going to redefine my trail challenge, and I am getting all my medallions, but since I've done this trail before, multiple times before, I'm actually going to head back to the car instead of finishing because it, I'm about a fourth of the way in the trail. Um, I'm trying to conserve energy. I have water, but I don't have as much as I would like, and I still have two trails left, um, and I am starting to wear out, so I have my medallion. I'm going to call this one good, and I will, guys, I will see you guys on trail number seven. So, I'm pretty exhausted. Um, I can't remember. I think I had lunch in that patch of trees, like right there. Right there. In that patch of trees last year, when I did the Centennial Trail. And I knew this gate was coming, and I basically was like, if the trail symbols, or if the medallion's not at this gate, like, I am probably just gonna scrap it and turn around and go home. And, uh,. There's my trail challenge sign, and there's the medallion. I am so happy right now. Yay! I get to turn around and go home. <laughs> well, back to the truck, and then I have one mother, one more trail. Ooh, someone's joining me for the last trail, so stay tuned and find out who it is. Okay, so here I am. Last hike, hike number eight, Stockade Lake, and guess who's here for moral support? best part of my day. Okay, let's get our hike on. See you out there.